Hey guys, I'm here with another video just kind of showing some of the accessories. Um, this one I'm going to do a little bit more of a deep dive into the modular component holders versus the component holders. Just showing some different um, accessory usage and applications in more common games um, from Wingspan to Splendor to Catan, um, some Scythe coins, and then also just in general for dice. So I'm going to just dive right in here. Um, so for Wingspan, I just loaded it up with tons and tons of um, eggs just to kind of show. And again, this is on a modular one. You can see how it has that uh, curved edge here. Um, this is just a little bit shallower than the regular component holders. You can see it still holds a ton of eggs. Um, I do have them kind of angled upwards a little bit. You can see that um, they're, they're, they're pretty high up, but they still work. It still holds them. They're not falling out. Same thing uh, with all the food. Um, again, I'm intentionally trying to show an, a ton of it in there. I'm not necessarily trying to show what a practical usage might be. Um, and then in comparison, just some dice. Uh, these are dispel dice for sizing purposes. They're a little bit larger than a normal one. And then these are the Howlite dice. They're gemstone that you can also buy from Wormwood. Um, you can see I've got a full set of uh, seven dice of the Howlite. I've also got a seven set here um, for... Uh, the dispel, but then I also have an additional four, one, two, three, and four d20s in there, and they they all kind of just barely snug in there. They're kind of just starting to escape. Obviously, you can always throw them up on the edge up here, which um, works as well uh, if you had extra. Uh, kind of going down into more like a splendor application where you might have more of chips. Again, uh, uh, part of the reason I chose the games I did was different purposes, different applications. Um, in this game, you can see whether you're fanning out the coins more like this or stacking them up more like this. Um, there's tons of room for holding uh, chips for the game of Splendor. Now, if you're playing other games or using um, poker chips for the purposes of money, you might be a little disappointed with uh, component holders. Uh, in particular, these are all the modular ones for this application. You can see it's not holding a ton if you're fanning them out. Stacking them up, you can get... Um, a total of four stacks in here. Once you start trying to put another one in here, they do start wanting to fall over, so that doesn't really work. Uh, so you can only get two in there, despite it looking like there's extra room. When it comes to trying to use uh, this for card storage, you can absolutely set them up here. These are just your standard uh, poker-sized cards. Um, they can go this way, no problem. You can put them on more of the flat part, kind of tucked against the rail, and that brings them a little closer for you. Uh, in, in various different ways, shapes, and form. If you were to put them this way, you could probably do this to a certain degree. I probably wouldn't. I'd probably turn them the other way. Um, the rail works really well for holding cards for when you're playing, uh, whether it be going one way or the other. Uh, this is a very common application in a lot of games with people I've played with. They like to keep their cards up here. That way they're a little bit closer to you. Um, so again, if you're playing a lot of games with cards, um, these can actually work. They're not probably the preferred method, but they do work to kind of bring it up a little bit closer towards you. Uh, the little splendor tiles for the, uh, the different nobles, they, they fit very nicely in here. Not saying that you would obviously be putting them up here because for the purposes of the game, this is not an application you'd use. But for the purposes of showing approximate sizing of what fits in the well, there's just a, enough room around the edge where it starts to round. These fit flat in there very nicely. All right, now getting into um, the dice, I just wanted to show a few comparisons. The first one is these are the Stone Mayor Games um, holders for sizing purposes. You can see I've got a four by four grid. They're, they're clearly ready to fall out because they're angled up on the edges here. Um, and, and this is approximately what you'd get in there. Uh, a Wormwood uh, hexagonal tile here. You've got a four by four grid. Again, the edges are kind of curling up uh, on, the, on the corners. And then as you get down here, we can compare now for the first time um, the modular one versus just the regular uh, component holders. And you can kind of see the difference in size here for the first time. So here I've got a five by four grid and here I've got a uh, six by four grid. So you can see it does start to, to kind of round up just a little bit here. If I were to take one or two of these out, they would fit a little bit nicer in there. Um, but they are bigger by just a little bit. Um, they're a little bit deeper, a little bit wider, so these do hold more. 
Obviously, the, the flip side to that is that they have the round edges on both sides, so they can't kind of hug in quite as close. And to give you that kind of comparison, you'll see that lost space right here. Um, in my opinion, it's not that big of a deal, but aesthetically, you know, some people will care about that. What we ended up doing, as you can see, is we had a ton of the uh, modular ones that we bought, and then we ended up opting to do one of each of the woods. So um, you'll kind of see that as we go down the, the aisle here, and I'll just quickly show that so you can see each of the woods in order of cost, starting with the maple and then the espresso maple, cherry, black walnut, Tavern Elm, Paduke, Wenge, and finally the very bright and vibrant Purple Heart. So going into Catan now, or Catan, depending on if you know how to say it right or wrong, I'm intentionally not going to say which way it is because you guys can all fight it out, even though I know which one it is. Um, we've got the Cities and Knights and Seafarers and the core game all thrown in here just to show you kind of how many bits and pieces a component holder can hold. And then again, the size of cards that it can fit on the regular um, component holder. You can fit the full Catan sleeves, Catan sleeves, I'm not saying it, um, in here. And you can see that I do sleeves, so again, there is enough room for that. And then um, kind of an interesting thing, as I was putting scythe coins in here, and you can see I've got um, the 50 and the 2s as well. I was just putting all the base money in here, and as I did, um, that last little bit that I was putting in was the difference between this kind of flopping down. And you can see that that's about the threshold for weight before it starts kind of giving out a little bit. Now that said, it doesn't really make that big of a deal because it's still holding. It's still not going anywhere. If I push down on this, it's not going to fall, but it does actually flop just a little bit. And you'll see that all of the accessories kind of do that. And that's the room that's built into the rail so that you can pull these in and out snugly without damaging anything. So that is built in intentionally. Some are a little bit more floppy than others. Um, so like... This one compared to, actually, let me pull out the box here. So this one to the Purple Heart compared to the Wang Day, you can see this one flops a lot more compared to the Paduke. And then this one is already down, so it doesn't work. But they all have just that little bit. And, and again, that's kind of normal. I think my Wang Day's just got a little extra, extra flop to have a little extra fun. But um, you can see these hold quite a bit of components, quite a bit of pieces. Um, and, and again, just to show that aesthetic of all those colors right next to each other. I personally chose to get one of each because I wanted to see all the colors, but also so people could have a little bit fun. So when they're playing, they could take one of these guys, put a, a modular on either end, and have a little bit of personality, a little bit of uniqueness for themselves, uh, and have a little bit of say in their gameplay. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to do a few more deep dives kind of coming up, uh, and uh, hopefully this gives some help in deciding what you want, how you want it. And if you have any questions or want to see anything in particular, please leave it in the comments or uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Take care, guys.